it feels more like velvet, I guess. I'm not. But I'm influenced. Didn't this like make someone eat humans or some shit like that? Good morning. It's Sunday morning and you know the drill. On Sundays, I have hot yoga. I wasn't really feeling it this morning, to be honest. But I have like a new mindset. This is the Macy show. And if y'all were watching my show and I said I had hot yoga, like my character would go to hot yoga, you know? I wouldn't stay in bed and watch TV. So that's where we're going. I'm not used to wearing my hair in a bun, so it's like hitting the top of my car. But yeah, happy Sunday. I'm off tomorrow. Thank goodness I just took PTO day. PTO day. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but hopefully it'll be fun. Also, I'm pretty sure I like hurt my sciatic nerve. It hurts. I'm sorry y'all are moving. Y'all have a mind of your own. Um, my sciatic ner nerve hurts so bad and I watched like a TikTok test to see if it is, and it is. So that sucks. I think I heard it in yoga, honestly. But we're gonna go to hot yoga, sweat out all of our toxins because I've been eating like shit. Literally like so much crap. But I've got my little layered necklaces on, my Stanley cup. Let's just go have a great workout. Okay, I got ready. I mean, I'm not dressed, but as you can tell, I have my makeup on. I did my hair a little bit, um, but this company from Instagram sent me this set and it's like 100% silk. And having this on makes me realize how fake my silk is because this feels nothing like it. Um, so here is the set. This isn't that good of an angle. It's this matching set, 100% silk. It feels more like, um, like what's that word? It feels more like velvet, I guess. I'm not trying to like explain to you how real silk feels, but basically like my silk pajamas from Target, not the vibe. Like they're silky, but this is like real silk. So now that I'm like bougie and elevated and professional silk, my life is forever changed. Okay, here's what I decided to wear. I can't figure out what shoes to wear, but just, I feel like this is sleek and adorable and like screams running errands. So yeah. Hello, we're back in my car. Now we're going to get my nails done. My arms look freaking huge. Like if I could just get arm fat removal, I would feel so much better about myself, but and I don't even feel like my arm is like fat. It's just big. Like I just have a big arm. And I feel like whenever people see me, they're like, wow, look at that girl's big arms, which that's probably, probably not anything of what they say. And even if they say that, like who cares? But like, I personally feel bad about my big arms. But I don't know if I said that before I, you know, got into my big arm rant. We're gonna go get our nails done. I'm debating if I want almond French or if I want to switch it up and get coffin French, but most likely I'll get almond French. Like, who am I kidding myself? But we're also going to go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I have to do a Marshalls return and there's a Marshalls right beside my nail salon place. So it's like, it's only right, you know? And I also want to organize my car because I'm on car organizational TikTok. So that's exciting. I also, I, one thing about me is I am very, 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 very easily influenced. So now people are like straying away from the Stanley Cups and getting the Simply Modern Cups, which, I mean, it is cuter. It's this shape, but it's like a neutral color, which I've moved on from being a neutral scout. I will say I'm like branching out to get into color. But that one is sleeker. It's like this color is the same as the lid and it's just like straight down sleekness. You probably know what I'm talking about. But I'm influenced, I ordered that. So yeah, I mean, I, I was influenced to get the Stanley Cup. I was influenced with the Hydro Glass, Simply Modern. I like stay up to date on the water bottle trends. 
Okay, whatever. I'm just rambling now. Okay. Plot twist. I ended up getting like chromey pink, baby pink nails. So cute. The lady was like, I was like, I'm trying to decide if I want French or this pretty chrome color. And she had chrome, so she convinced me to get chrome. Also, like I said, I went to Marshall's. Let me show you what I got. I basically just got a bunch of men's t-shirts. And then a notebook. So this is the notebook I got. I'm almost out of my notebook. I literally write in it every single day. Hold on, let me get this sticker off. Which Fringe, the brand Fringe notebooks are my favorite notebooks from like TJ Maxx, Marshall, Home Goods, all of those. Um, they just have the cutest designs and they're like leather, but normally I'm pretty sure they're only like $4.99, but today it was $7.99, so I don't know what in the inflation. Okay, finally got it. Finally got it. No worries. Okay, it's so cute. It says, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground, and it's just like the stars like galaxy I don't even know what this is called like you know like astrology so cute I'm so happy about this and it's black and gold and this is like the size of it it's like regular notebook size okay and then now for graphic tees I like debated on if I wanted to get this playboy shirt um but obviously you can tell I did I just think it's the perfect brown color and it's like a good material I guess um, and it's $9.99, extra large, and then this one is so freaking soft, and I just like how simple it is, and it just says, oh, be kind, and then this one I picked up first, I just think it's really cute, and like, it looks expensive for a graphic tee, if that makes sense, it's like a get a nice material it says city hall desert springs creative director california and i just like shirts that say different places so yeah that's everything i got <laughs> here is the playboy one are you kidding me so freaking cute but now i'm hungry what time is it 141 and I haven't eaten lunch yet. Oh, this is where you normally sit. So if you're like, where am I? In most places you're right there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna eat a factor meal. This is not sponsored, as you can freaking tell. But I love factor meals because they're just like meal prep meals. I don't know why I say meals so funny, but I do. So should I eat a chicken fajita bowl? a chicken pickle or a shredded chicken parmesan fuzuli with garlic broccoli you're right let's eat this one in there i don't know why it's flashing on camera shouldn't so sundays are normally my so my spray tan days so I'm going to show you what I do to prepare for a spray tan. So this is what I use to take my makeup off. This has nothing to do with a spray tan. But I have to take my makeup off in order to get a fresh one. And then I just use these premium cotton pads from Target. My cellar water also takes off spray tan. So if you have like salt tanner on and it's looking splotchy, get you some micellar water. Okay, now I'm gonna get in the shower, scrub my body, shave. This is what I use to exfoliate. It's the Whey Scalp and Body Scrub. Or sometimes, I, I was using this for the longest time. It's the Frank Body Coffee Scrub. Um, I just don't like how it comes in like a bag like this because it gets really messy. 
but both of these are really good. This one smells like more like luxurious, elevated. This smells exactly like coffee. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Shave, um, and that's basically all I do to prepare for getting my spray tans. And then this is my favorite lotion. I feel like this one keeps your spray tan on longer. Some lotions I find actually like makes your spray tan like break up. So this is just the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant. It smells really good and it makes your skin feel super, super soft for like two days. So yeah, and this is like $10 I think. Super cheap, it's from Target, Walmart, wherever. Okay, so I went and got a spray tan. I normally get the Versa Medium with the double pass on the legs in case you were curious. But, oh, and it takes like eight hours for spray tans to develop. So I won't be tan until eight hours from now. But my spray tan machine was broken. So I had to use this other one, which I don't like that much. I went to Target. Also, my grandma, she like sends me cards, I would say like three times a month. And look at this adorable one that she sent me. It says, everybody has an image of what the ideal friend should be. Wonderful, dependable, understanding, funny, intelligent. And then you open it and it says you. She like hand writes me what's going on with her life. It's so cute. And I keep these. I'm going to keep these forever. Anyways, Target haul. So if you watch organize my laundry room, I put like my detergent, my little Scentsy things in jars. So I wanted to do that with my bath salt. So I got this cute jar. It was in the dollar section and I like how it has like this kind of lid. And then Dr. Teal's bath salt is the best. Normally I get the, uh oh, this was not my smartest decision. Douglas, please don't eat this buddy. Anyways, normally I get the lavender one, but this girl that I watch on TikTok, I'm obsessed with her. She gets this kind. Okay, this is the cannabis sativa hemp seed oil. Maybe I shouldn't do this where I eat my food, but I mean, okay, yeah, I probably should not do this in the kitchen. Didn't this like make someone eat humans or some shit like that in like Florida? See? Wow. So cute. Okay. Last of the stuff before I end this vlog, I got some more body wash. This is the Dove Coconut and Cocoa Butters one. I used to use this when I was little. So the scent like gives me, what's that word? Nostalgic, nostalgic vibes. I don't know. Then I got the Dr. Teal's moisturizing bath oil or just body oil. So what you do is you can like put this on your body after you shave or you can just like put it on your body or you can just like drip it. Ew, drip is a gross word. You can just like put it in your bath. That's what my grandma taught me. And it just makes your body feel so soft and nice. Ah, uh, lavender. Okay. An Apple Watch band. I didn't get this from Target. I got this from Amazon. And then two of these. I only ordered one, but Amazon gave me two. So shout out to them. Of the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. Again, I was influenced by TikTok. But this one has a built-in sharpener, which is kind of cool. And then, ooh, two more things. I needed new toothpaste because the TikTok toothpaste that I bought is disgusting. It's literally floral, not scented, floral flavored. Floral flavored for a toothpaste. Are you freaking shitting me? Crest hydrogen peroxide. Hopefully this one's good. And then lastly, a candle. I thought I only bought this one because it said it was on sale for $7.99, but it rang up for $10.99. But I'm not really an arguer, so I just, I just took it. I, no, I didn't take it. I bought it, but I just, you know, you get it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you guys. If you made it this far, you're really the best. And I will see you in my next video.